Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I just wanted to sit and talk to you guys. I was making a TikTok about YouTube and the way social media is going, uh, but I didn't have a lot of time because like obviously I was trying to like film the TikTok, but also remember what I said and there's like a limited time limit on those things. But here I have all the time and I just wanted to sit and chat about this. So I think I swear YouTube is dying and I'm saying that because I'm seeing this like huge shift into social media where it's like all of this short form content that's filmed vertically is just taking over. It started with TikTok and you guys know Instagram Reels and now it is YouTube Shorts because YouTube Shorts is now paying, which is really good because that really helps me out. Um, I'm lucky enough to make a little bit from Instagram Reels, but I'm telling you the way social media is going it's just really annoying and really sad and the long form content I'm kind of like thinking is morphing into more like podcast style um, rather than vlogs. I don't know. I just I feel like vlogs are kind of being faded out, but that is OK because I remember the time when vlogs were just up and coming. You know what I mean? In my TikTok, I kind of talked about my history with YouTube and starting YouTube. So I'll like do a little Reader's Digest for you guys here. Um, pretty much what I say in that TikTok. I wanted to do YouTube so bad, so I got my first DSLR camera and I spent all my savings with the money from my first job. And then I'm like noticing, I'm like, where's my blurry background? Like, I want a blurry background like all these YouTubers because you guys know the YouTube saturated era. Like, I wanted that. So then I learned about Aperture and like a little bit about cameras. I ended up switching my major and then I knew a lot about cameras and how they worked and everything. It was hard not really having like someone to film my YouTube videos for me, like what I was seeing all these other people do. Um, so I was kind of like starting that on the tail end of the YouTube saturated era and then vlogs started becoming big and as you guys know if you guys been around a long time i did a lot of things different things did a little clickbait here and there i bleached my hair like a pale blonde not only for the views but half for the views half because it was like a bucket list thing because i'd always wanted blonde hair and frankly i loved it so y'all that say that it's like a potato chip yellow i liked it and i toned it well i'm sorry you feel that way then i chopped my hair off and then i started my youtube workout journey which is amazing i got a lot of views with that i felt like i was repeating myself half the time but it was okay um, because it was kind of keeping me accountable and it, they were fun to make um, and then I started at Cycle Bar, so I quickly stopped filming videos. And then 2020 rolled around and I was getting all the creative juices because of being at home, working from home. I don't know, I just felt like a lot more relaxed and something horrible had to happen, okay? Like a little boy getting rehomed had to happen for my channel to even like a little bit notice. I did have a video do so well and that was because I commented on the fact that a little boy got rehomed from China. So it's just annoys me that something horrible and tragic had to happen for like people to like see my videos. Like, I don't know. All I wanted to do was vlog and make creative content kind of like just a normal person. I don't want to comment on other people. That's what those Reddit forums and like things are for. I know it's very lucrative and I enjoy some of the content that people put out because it's funny, but like, I don't want to comment on people. I don't want to talk about controversial topics. I want to vlog my life and share it and have people be interested. Some people that, you know, liked that video that I did about adoption and like the little boy being rehomed, that's what got me traction. So I feel like they were expecting something that they weren't getting obviously. So then like my subscriber count, it was growing, 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 and then it kind of like stabilized. And then I don't know when, but it was just like starting to decrease, decrease, decrease like the numbers. And it's obviously because they subscribed to somebody who wasn't like saying anything else about that. You know what I'm saying? And then they didn't really care about my other stuff, like me as a person. So of course they're gonna like unsubscribe. So it's just like, okay, um, 
great, like, okay, hi, I can say I have 38,000 subscribers, but, like, something tragic had to happen to, like, get me there, not just, like, me chopping my hair, not me, like, uh, bleaching my hair. I mean, what, like, what do people have to do to get noticed? It's so freaking frustrating, you know? And then, uh, but I appreciate, like, each and every one of you that, like, clicks on my videos and supports me. That's why in every description box, I put, like, thank you so much for watching this and supporting me because, I don't know. And I see these other people's videos, like, I don't know, I, there's not, like, one in specific person that I'm like talking about. It's just kind of like a generic statement when I say that video, like how are they getting that many views? And then me over here like putting in effort, but then when I put in no effort, I get like a good amount of views. So it's frustrating. It's just the game of social media. Um, and that's why I'm happy that this is never gonna be like my main source of income. I quickly learned that. I am just lucky I make a dime off of social media and whatever I post. Um, but you know, maybe that's a good thing. So it'll just like keep me being more passionate about this rather than like feeling like I need to do something. It's more fun. So that leads me <laughs> into the future of my channel and like where I want to start taking things. Um, in my opinion, videos should be 15 minutes or longer, like for a video. That's why the last video you saw was like a combination of footage from multiple days, like throughout that week. I was going to separate those vlogs, but one would have only been six minutes and I don't like that. So what I am planning on doing, I'm planning on focusing on short form vertical content for YouTube shorts and reels and Instagram. Well, not mainly reels because my reels are doing really shitty, but maybe like TikTok and shorts because YouTube is now paying creators for shorts, which is amazing because they weren't before. And I'm over here like, uh, okay, great. It's for the audience reach and stuff, but, um, I'm getting off track when I say this, but it's like, short form content like that is like so hard yet so easy to make. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is, but like for some weird reason, I feel like that type of content is so much more hard than like a video that I'm filming like this. So I digress, but I am going to start putting out videos maybe like once or twice a week because the videos just, they're great and it's still like my passion to like film YouTube videos, but like I need to focus and shift my attention to something else, which is the like TikTok era and stuff. And I want to start doing like more aesthetically pleasing type content on there. Maybe like, okay, waking up in the morning, brushing the teeth like curling my hair a little bit, that sort of stuff. And during the week, like during school, I can't get like that much footage. So that's why I'm thinking if I can get a little bit and then vlog the weekends and then put it together and have at least a 15 minute video for you guys, like that's more, that's better than having like two broken up videos and one being like three minutes long. The amount of videos is going to decrease and you probably already have noticed that but I'm also gonna really start focusing on YouTube shorts and trying to get engagement and excitement over there on the channel. And hopefully I get noticed for like something either stupid or funny or just me because I don't want like something horrible to happen and then like have that reel of mine or that short of mine go viral because something bad had to happen. You know what I'm saying? Just keep an eye out on my shorts tab. Um, if you watch on like a mobile device, I know on the computer you can see shorts But like I don't know like who actually watches shorts on the computer because like I don't but yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and yeah, just chit chat because I can and I honestly think YouTube's dying. I think podcasts are on the rise and I think um, like TikTok and that sort of content is on the rise um, It's definitely not YouTube vlogs um, the people that still do vlogs already have a built-in following, so it helps them, but like, and I do have a built-in following, thanks guys, you know who you are, but, um, I don't have, like, the numbers that, like, would, like, sustain me, like, I do need to be creating content that will get pushed out into algorithms rather than, like, these, 
that that probably don't you know what i mean so i think that's about it if i forgot anything i'll leave it in the description box down below but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video or short bye